Hey guys, good morning. We're just gonna start a nice, easy seated position in front of your mat, whatever is most comfortable for you. Just let the hands rest on the knees, close the eyes. Just really start to focus on your breath. Long, deep inhales, fill in the belly. Long, slow exhales. And exhale every bit of air out of those lungs. Good. Just start with some gentle neck rolls, right ear, right shoulder, chin in the chest. Left ear, left shoulder. Try to stay as loose as possible. Don't tense up. Switch directions. Good. Stopping when the right ear hits right shoulder. Take those left fingertips and go ahead and walk them out to the left. Ear, left shoulder, and then go ahead and walk those right fingertips out. Bring it back up to center. I'm going to place the left hand on that right knee, posting that right arm up against the spine. Big inhale, think about lengthening the spine here. On the exhale, slowly twist. Head should be the last thing to completely turn. Good. Exhale, look forward. You're going to take that right arm, swoop it underneath the left. So a couple actions happening here. You're pulling back on the knees, pushing out with the knees, rounding the upper back, tucking chin to chest. You should feel a nice deep stretch along the back side of the neck. Couple breaths here. And since our arms are already in prime position, we're going to bring it up into eagle arms. Wrap it around, grab that palm if you can. Big inhale, lifting it up towards the ceiling. And on that exhale, rounding back, tucking your elbows to belly button. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, release, pose, squeeze the belly. One more time, big inhale up. And exhale, bring it down. But gently release, planting those hands behind, fingertips facing forward, feet on the ground. Big inhale, lift those hips, drop the head. And bring those hips back down, crossing those legs, switching sides, right hand, left knee, posting that left arm up against the spine. Big inhale, lengthen here. Now that exhale, slowly twisting. Good. Look at forward, swooping that left arm underneath the right to grab that right knee. You're pushing out the knees, you're pulling back the hands, you're rounding that upper back, you're tucking chin to chest. And 
since our arms are already in that nice position, bring it up into eagle arms. Grab that palm if you can. Big inhale, lifting those elbows up towards the ceiling. And then on the exhale, bringing those elbows to your belly. Inhale up. And exhale, bring it down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale, bring it down. Good. Gently release, planting those hands behind the back. Again, planting those feet. Big inhale, lift those hips up, drop that head. And dropping those hips back down. One more time, guys. So cross those legs, left hand, right knee. Right arm up against the spine, big inhale. And exhale, slowly twist. Good, look it forward, take that right arm, swoop it underneath the left, grabbing left knee. And then from here, pushing out the knees, pulling back with arms, tucking chin to chest, really rounding that back, over exaggerated here. One more time since our arms are in that position, coming up into eagle arms. Big inhale, lifting those elbows up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, tuck it in, elbows to belly button. Inhale up. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Gently release, planting those hands behind. Arms of feet on the ground, lift those hips up, drop that head back. Good. Reverse tabletop. Go ahead and drop those hips again. Cross those legs, right hand, left knee, left arm is pressed up against the spine. Big inhale. And exhale, twist it out. Good. Look at forward, swooping that left arm underneath the right to grab that right knee. Pushing up the knees, pulling back with the arms, tucking the chin, the chest. Good. Go ahead, bring those arms up into equal arms. Big inhale, lift those elbows up towards the sky. And then exhale, elbows to belly button. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Gently release. Hands behind. Bottoms of the feet. Lift those hips. And this time, bring those hips all the way back. Cross those legs. Roll it over the tabletop. Real quick, just fingertips to the edges of your mat. And just gently rock side to side. Slowly opening up those forms for us. Fingertips face and the thighs, step back as far as you can for those palms when they leave the ground. Good. Flip it over, tops of those hands. Trying to keep those arms as straight as you can as you lean it back. Good. Flip them back over. From here, I want you to extend that right leg back behind. Toes are pointing down. Dropping those toes all the way down, keeping that leg straight. Lift it back up, squeezing the butt of the top. Start. Warming up those hips a little bit, drop, and up, down, up, down, up, down, and up. Taking that right leg, you're going to rainbow it over to the left side of your mat, and then rainbow it over to the right. Left, just a little touch, right, left, right, Left, a couple more. Right, left. This time when you bring it out to the right, I want you to sweep it all the way out to the side. Toes pointing up, 
keep that foot flexed. Big inhale, drop that belly. So think out. Now on that exhale, rock it all the way back into a child's pose. Inhale up. And exhale, sit it back. So get those hips moving. Inhale up. Exhale, sit it back. Good. A couple more. Inhale up. Exhale, sit it back. One more time. Inhale up. This time, exhale, sit back and hold. Good. Go ahead and rock it all the way up. You're going to bring that right leg back in. This time, you're going to extend that left leg out. Keep it straight. Drop those toes down to the mat. And then lift it up, squeezing the butt at the top. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and up. Taking that leg, you are going to rainbow it over to the right side of your mat, and then over to the left. Right, the left. Take your time with it. Right, left, right, left. One more time, over to the right. And this time, sweep it all the way out to the side on the left. Big inhale, drop that belly. And then exhale, rock it back into that child's pose position. Inhale up. Exhale, sit it back. Inhale up, exhale, sit back. Inhale up, exhale, sit back. One more time. Inhale up, exhale, sit back and hold. Go ahead and rock it forward, bring that left leg back in, tucking those toes under, sit back in a downward dog. First one may feel a little bit tight, that's okay. Hands should be about shoulder distance apart, feet should be a hip distance apart. I want you to think about the weight mostly being in your index and thumb finger, and not your palms, okay? So if you can, try and focus on that, pulling that chest through, taking your time, pedal those feet out. Really focusing on that breath right now. Coming high up onto those tippy toes and go ahead and tippy toe your way to the front of the mat. Bring those feet as wide as the mat. Slight bend in the knees. Allow the crown of the head to hang. Letting gravity do all the work here. The weight should be primarily in the front of the feet. Take a couple deep breaths here. Giving your body that time it needs to warm up. Good. Go ahead and pin those knees to where the chest is then on top of the thighs. And then slowly roll your way up one vertebra at a time, stepping one on top of the next. There's no need to rush this part. Head should be the last thing to completely rise. Step those feet together, roll those shoulders back for mountain pose. Big inhale, sweeping those arms overhead, gaze at the thumbs. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back into a tabletop position. From here, we're just going to run through some cat cows. Big inhale, drop the belly, look up. And then exhale, round the spine. Inhale, cap. And exhale, cap. Inhale, cap. And exhale. 
Good, tuck those toes back under, sit it back in the downward facing dog. Keep pedal out those feet if you need to. Back onto those tippy toes, tippy toe your waist, front of the mat again. Slight bend in those knees with the head hang. A couple breaths here. I want you to take your peace finger, so middle finger and index finger, grabbing onto those toes, dropping those hips into the bottom of that squat. Elbows are pressing out on that other thighs. Chest is nice and vertical. Lift those hips back up and drop on. Still get those hips nice and warmed up. Up and down. Good from here. Just stand it up. Good. Step those feet together. We'll roll those shoulders back. Big inhale, sweep those arms overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, left back. Plant those hands. This time, we're going to step it back into that tabletop position again. This time, I want you to think about kicking that left foot out like a kickstand, extending that right leg, reaching that right arm for a modified side plank. You should feel a nice stretch along the right side of your body. Gaze at the right hand. Reach, reach, reach. Bring it back down into that tabletop position. Tuck those toes under, send those hips back into downward facing dog. Good, bring those feet together. Big inhale, lift that right leg nice and high. We'll let it fall over, belly facing the wall. When I think of having that knee point straight up towards the ceiling, trying to bring that heel into your sit belt. Big inhale, extend that leg, tuck it into the chest, step it to the inside of that right hand, gently dropping that back knee. Big inhale for a low lunge. A couple deep breaths here. Exhale those hands down to the mat. I want you to tuck the left toes under, lift that back knee off. Dropping that heel, I want you to shift it all the way into that left foot for a side lunge. If that heel comes off a little bit, that's totally okay. Walking those hands out in front, letting that chest drop to the inside of the thigh. Good. Walking those hands in, lift your way up. You are now in a wide legged position. Toes should be slightly inward here. Placing hands in line with the feet. Big inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, full. Try and keep those elbows to a 90 degree angle. Using those hands to help pull that chest through. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. This time you're going to walk those hands to the left foot. Dropping it down into that low lunge. You are now facing the opposite side, the back side of your mat. Then from here, all I want you to do is step that right foot forward, dropping it down into Malasana, that yogi squat. Elbows are inside the knees, palms together, press it out, sending that chest nice and tall. Good, hands down to the mat. Lift those hips up nice and high. Then from here, bending at the knees, slowly rolling your way up. No need to rush it. Good. Step those feet together. Roll those shoulders back. Big inhale. Sweep those arms overhead. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, left back. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back into that tabletop position. This time you're kicking that right foot out, extending that left leg, reaching that left arm overhead, feel a nice stretch along the left side of the body. 
gaze is at the left hand. Really pressing through that right shoulder. Don't just slump into it and let it go up into the ears. Good, bring it back down into that tabletop position. Tuck those toes, send it back and downward facing dog. Nice, feet together, big inhale, lift that left leg nice and high, let it fall over, belly facing the wall. Extending that leg, tuck it into the chest, stepping that left foot to the inside of that left hand, gently dropping that back knee. Big inhale, this time I want you to interlace those fingers, pressing it up towards the ceiling. Nice, exhale those hands back down to mat. Tucking right toes under, lift that back knee off, dropping that heel. We're gonna shift that weight all the way into the right foot for a side lunge. If that heel comes off, that's okay. Walking those hands out front, letting that chest drop to the inner thigh. Nice, walking those hands back in. Lifting yourself back up. Now you're in that wide legged position again. Bring those arms out into a T, interlace those fingers behind the back. This is all you can do. That's okay. If you can't, try and press those palms together. Big inhale, puff that chest forward. And on the exhale, forward fold. Gently release those hands down to the mat. Walk them to the right foot, pointing those toes out. This time, stepping that right foot forward, dropping it right down into Navasana. Elbows inside the knees, press it out, sit it nice and tall. This time, we're going to take that left hand all the way out to the side, wrap that tricep, bring that right arm up. Good, and let's switch. Grabbing that right tricep to the inner thigh, planting that right hand out to the side, and that left arm up. Good, bring it down. Lift those hips up nice and high. This time I want you to go ahead and heel to those feet back together. And then from here, big inhale, root to rise, sweeping those arms overhead. And exhale, four, fold your way into the next one. Inhale, halfway lift, left back. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back into that tabletop position. You're kicking that left foot out, extending that right leg long, reaching that right arm overhead. Every pushing through that left hand. Now, you can make it a little bit more challenging by lifting that right leg off the ground. Full tight squeeze. Gently bring it back down. Bring it back down into that tabletop position, tucking those toes, send those hips back in a downward dog. Good, feet together, big, and now lift that right leg nice and high, lift, fall over belly facing the wall. Sending that right leg out, tuck it into the chest, step that right foot to the inside of the right hand, gently dropping that back knee. Then you're now sweeping those arms overhead. Good, exhale those hands back down to the ground, tuck those toes under, lift that knee off, dropping that back heel, shift that weight all the way into the left foot. Walking those hands out front, letting that chest drop to the inner thigh. Good, 
uh, lifting yourself up. You are now not wise into position. Think toes inward, all right? Big inhale, arms up to the side. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands in line with the feet. Big inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Using those hands to try and pull your chest all the way through. Most importantly, breathe. Inhale, halfway lift your walk and those hands to the left toes, point them out, gently dropping that back knee. Then from here, I'm going to do left hand, left knee, push that knee out to the side, let that foot roll over onto its side, actively pressing that chest away and letting that right hip sink down. Uh, bring that knee back in, stepping that right foot forward, dropping it right down into Malasana. Elbows inside the knees, press it out, sitting nice and tall. Nice, dropping those hands, lift those hips up, heel toe those feet together. Big inhale, root to rise, sweeping those arms overhead, gaze up thumbs. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, left back. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back into that tabletop position. Kicking that right foot out to the side, extending that left leg long. Reaching that left arm over as far as you can. You can hang out here, you can make it a little bit more difficult, lifting that left leg off of the ground. Uh, gently bring it back down into that tabletop position, tucking those toes, send it back in the downward facing dog. Good, feet together, big inhale, lift that left leg nice and high, let it fall over, belly facing the wall. Extending that leg, tuck it into the chest, step it to the inside of that left hand, gently dropping that back knee. This time, interlacing those fingers. Pressing it up into the ceiling. Good. Exhale those hands back down to the mat. Tuck right toes under. Lift that back knee. Drop that heel. Shift that weight all the way into the right foot for side lunge. Walking those hands out front, letting that chest drop to the inner thigh. Walking those hands in, lifting yourself back up into that wide legged -like position, toes slightly inward. Big inhale, arms out to a T, this time interlacing those fingers behind the back. Press those palms together if you can. Big inhale, puff that chest forward, and on the exhale, forward fold. Gently bring those hands back down to the mat, walk it to the right foot, point those toes out, gently drop a back knee, right hand, right knee, push that knee out, let that foot roll up onto its side, actively pressing that chest away, letting the left hip sink down, you feel a nice stretch here in the back of the right hip. Bring it back in. This time you're stepping that left foot forward, dropping it down into Malasana. Elbows inside those knees, press it out, sitting the chest nice and tall. Good. This time, once again, wrapping that left tricep out to the side, bringing that right hand up. You can either stay here or think about rotating that thumb down, wrap it around the leg if you can. Maybe bind.
Good. Gently release and it'll switch. So wrap that right tricep out to the side. Reach that left arm up. Once again, if you want to try to bind, think about pointing thumb down from this position. Thumb down. Wrap it around the back. Grab onto those hands. Collapse. Good. Gently release hands down to the mat. Lift those hips up nice and high. Heel toe those feet back together. Big inhale, root to rise, sweeping those arms overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And then exhale, plant those hands, step it back into tabletop. Kicking those left toes out, extending that right leg long, reaching that right arm over. Once again, you can hang out here. Maybe you lift that right leg up. Good, gently bring it down. Coming back into that tabletop position, back in a downward facing dog. Hopefully you feel a little bit better. Maybe those heels are a little bit closer to the ground or what you're used to or what you started with. Feet together, big inhale, lift that right leg nice and high, let it fall over, belly face the wall. Extending that right leg, tuck it into the chest, step it to the inside of that right hand, gently dropping that back knee. Big inhale, reaching those arms overhead. Good. Exhale those hands down to the mat. Tuck those back toes. Lift that back knee. Drop that back heel. Shift that weight all the way into the left foot. Walking those hands out. Let that chest drop. Then walk those hands in. Lift your weight into that wide legged position. Big inhale, arms out to a T, and then exhale, swan dive, forward fold, hands in line with the feet. Big inhale, halfway lift again. And then on that exhale, forward fold, using those hands to help pull you through. Inhale, halfway lift, walk those hands to those left foot. Point it out, gently dropping it into that lunge, planting that right hand, left hand, left knee, push that knee out, let that foot roll up onto its side. Letting that right hip sink down. Good, bring it back in. Stepping that right foot forward, dropping it down into the So now elbows inside the knees, press it out. Nice hands down to the mat. We'll lift those hips up nice and high. Heel toe those feet back together. Big inhale, root to rise, sweeping those arms overhead. Then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant it back into tabletop. Kicking right toes up, extending left leg long, reaching that left arm over. Once again, you can make it a little bit more challenging. Lifting that left leg. Gently bring it back down, tucking those toes, send it back in a downward facing dog. Good. Feet together. Big inhale. Lift that left leg nice and high. Lift over belly facing the wall. Extending that left leg, tuck it into the chest. Step that foot to the inside of that left hand. Gently dropping that back knee. And releasing those fingers, pressing it up and towards the ceiling. Good, hands down to the mat, lifting back knee, dropping that heel, shift that weight all the way into that right foot. Good, 
Good, walking those hands back in, lifting yourself back up into that wide legged position, toes slightly in. Big inhale, arms out to a T, interlace those fingers behind the back, pressing those palms together if you can. Big inhale, up from the chest forward, and on the exhale, forward fold. Gently bringing those hands back down to the mat, walking to the right foot, pointing those toes out, dropping that back heel. Right hand, right knee, push that knee out to the side, let that foot walk onto the side. Good. Bringing that foot back in, knee back in, stepping that left foot forward, dropping it down in the last step. We're going to try that behind one more time. So, wrapping that tricep to the inside of that left thigh. You can hang out here if you'd like, or point that thumb down, wrap that arm around, and grab those hands if you can. And let's switch, relax. Wrap that right tricep around. Once again, you can hang out in this position or point that thumb down, wrap it around. Gently release, sit all the way back. Sending those legs out nice and long. Now I'm going to bring a right ankle just above that left knee. If you already feel it in the right hip, cool. Hang out here. If not, you can always either bring it into a figure four position or stack those shins one on top of another, keeping those feet flexed. Maybe you feel it here. That's totally fine. It's totally okay if you have space in between here. Don't worry about it. If you feel like you need a little bit of a deeper stretch, take your time. No need to rush it. But you can walk those hands out in front. Just a little bit longer here. And let's switch. Extending those legs out nice and long. Pitter powder that leg out if you need to. And then we're just going to switch. So left ankle above that right knee. If you feel it in the left hip, cool. Hang out. You can either come in a figure four or stack those shins one on top of another. Keeping those feet flexed. Maybe you hang out here. If you want to get a little bit deeper into it, you can take your time. Just slowly walk those hands out in front.
look no longer here. Bring it back in, bring the bottoms of the feet onto the ground, or just punch you away from those knees from side to side. Good. Bring yourself. Lay yourself all the way back onto your mat for a final rest and pose, Shavasana, letting those toes fall to the side. Letting those hands rest by the side. Just let that breath become shallow. Let the mind wander. Letting the little things like the eyelids relax. Relax your jaw. No tension in the body. Finding small movements, stay breathing as you use the toes. Slightly larger movements, like we're rolling the wrists and ankles. Tucking those legs into the chest, give a nice tight hug. And roll off onto that right side, using that arm as a pillow. Whenever you're ready, no rush, bring yourself back up into a seated position. Thanks for joining, guys. Hope you feel a little bit better. Namaste. Until next time.